Local pediatricians are seeing more kids with a cough, and it's not just from COVID-19. Here to explain is Dr. Mon Vadagnan Mondavan, Clinical Director of Pediatric Infectious Disease at Mass General Hospital for Children. The latest state data shows COVID infections are increasing, especially for those 10 to 19 years of age. What can you tell us about the other viruses circulating right now? Um, so there are other viruses that primarily cause respiratory symptoms, can cause, you know, sometimes GI symptoms, other, you know, other issues. We're seeing adenovirus, That's rhinovirus, right. okay. which causes a common cold, um, RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, um, which is having a little bit of an earlier um, presence, um, you know, this season. Most parents are used to caring for sick children at home, but knowing what you do about these different viruses, mm -hmm. what are the signs that parents should really call the doctor or even bring their child to the ER? So in general, for most healthy kids, the same um, warning signs of increased work of breathing for little ones, flaring nostrils, um, tugging between or below the ribs, um, dehydration, being lethargic, you know, those are always the signs to bring a child to the ED. But one should always remember if there's an underlying medical condition that would make you know these viruses worse a premature baby is at high risk you know for rsv complications younger children under two or those with underlying medical issues are at higher risk for influenza complications um and of course you know with covid um you know underlying medical conditions can make complications worse as well and so if they're if your child does have an underlying medical issue or you know based on age would be at higher risk always important to call saying is do we need to be checked out a little bit sooner is there anything that we need to think about in terms of antiviral therapy knowing that both for influenza and COVID-19 there are antivirals available in certain cases. And Dr. Madhavan, what about the timing of this all? Because most public schools have been open for about a month. So should mm -hmm. we expect to see in, uh, you know, an increase in infections and are some viruses surging earlier than usual? Yeah, so I think it, 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 it's twofold. Yes, we are definitely seeing different patterns of circulation. Um, we're seeing viruses start earlier in the respiratory viral season, um, which is now the summer and not just, you know, late fall, winter, like we normally think about. So we're seeing more viruses occurring around the same time because some are starting earlier, others are lasting longer, um, et cetera. So we're seeing different patterns, um, you know, during the pandemic of other virus um, circulation. And then of course, it's a perfect breeding ground because kids are back at school, they're back in close quarters with the weather cooling down, you know, inclement weather increasing people are indoors more often and able to, to spread um, viruses more easily as well.